Welcome to the legal series of Squam in Port Angeles Real Estate. I'm Chuck Murundi. Today we look at a common trap for the unwary buyer, and that is fence lines that are not on the true boundary line. This is a fence that trespasses onto the adjacent property. If you buy property and later it turns out the fence between you and your neighbor is 10 feet inside your property line, you could lose that strip of your land to the neighbor under the legal doctrine called adverse possession. But the other big challenge is that it can create a serious rift between you and your neighbor. And unfortunately, too many of these situations turn into a nasty legal dispute and ultimately into expensive litigation. You might think this is a rare event, but in the Squim and Port Angeles areas and around the North Olympic Peninsula, this is actually a far too common problem. I saw dozens of these disputes as a real estate lawyer here. So what's the answer? When you're buying property, make sure you know where the boundary lines are, or at least be aware of the signs of a boundary problem. This doesn't mean you have to pay for a survey before you close your transaction. Sometimes there are survey corner markers or other survey lines that are marked from a previous survey. If you are not sure, I recommend you talk to a surveyor. One of the reasons I write and publish these traps for the unwary is to help you avoid unnecessary nightmares. Life is too short for such things. If you are buying property, you'll want to be sure you get the right language in an addendum on this subject or you've not protected yourself. Do your due diligence to be sure you don't get caught in this trap for the unwary. I'm Chuck Murundi and you can find us on the internet at squimportangeles.com. That's S-E-Q-U-I-M portangeles.com.